Hey everyone, it's Tuesday, January 23rd, 2018, and it's time to go to work on music. Uh, it's been a fantastic day. I'm in a really good place and excited for a productive session as usual. Going to hit some online classes, update you guys with what's going on on that front. Going to move myself forward on the drumming front, probably keep that light, maybe watch more of the Benny Grab Art and Science of the Groove video. Uh, then going to jump on the drums and, uh, well actually what I'm probably going to do first is export the new song to uh, put it onto the computer I use to track drums and then tune the drum kit to this song because it's in different key, it's actually in several different keys um, but just get the drums sounding right in the track and then uh, start laying some preliminary tracks down on the drums for the verse and chorus sections then I'm going to take a break and dive back into the new song finish programming the horn part for the bridge and then start working on writing and learning the guitar solo for the new song. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Let me know if you have any questions as we go or, uh, or thoughts or comments. I love hearing from you guys and I will update you guys in a few with what I accomplish. Uh, very good first half of the day here. Got into the online class front and just did more research on email automation providers. At the end of the day, it looks like across different price points, there's or across different subscriber bases, there's different pricing models and you can get discounts and stuff. But it looks like in the long run, it's going to end up costing about the same for, for all of them. So I think it's probably worth just picking one that works and just rolling with it. Um, Feature-wise, it's really hard to tell, I think, unless I am you know, have a lot of experience with data analytics with email, like exactly what I want to need. So um, it may just come down to customer service. I don't know. And I doubt it's that hard to change providers at the end of the day. So we'll see what happens there. Um, from there, I did a little bit of drum work just going through the Benny Greb materials and doing some review, getting some of those ideas a little more firmly rooted in my mind. and. Just remembering that the whole point of drop click exercises is to develop your alarm system to notice when you're out of time and correct that as quickly as possible. And it's all about missing the mark and then learning from that. You know, that's, that's really what the exercise is. It is about making mistakes and learning from those mistakes. And uh, so that when you get, you know, when, when the pressure's really on, you've refined those instincts so well that you can trust them. And uh, they'll let you know immediately if you're out of the groove and you can correct right away without overcorrecting and all that stuff. So it's all about fine tuning uh, that, uh, that whole system in the body, which is really interesting, and, and the mind, of course. From there, I, um, I got into the production front and just bounced down a version of the new track I'm working on so I could port it over to my drum computer and uh, move that over there and then started retuning the kit. I'm just gonna I'm gonna use the same kit. I really like the sounds from the kit I used on the previous track. I think it will lend the album some good consistency. And I just repitched some of the instruments to match the key of the song a little bit better. And it's amazing. Just a little bit of fine tuning, you know, worked wonders. And it's so nice, it took me so much less time than the first time, because the first time it was like building everything up from scratch, we're de designing my workflow, auditioning every drum in my library, you know, to get the, the right thing, and now it's like, okay, I've got a baseline that I can just tweak, I've got a system that I can adapt, you know. And uh, I'm just so happy that I put in that time uh, last year, and now I can just, you know, move at a better pace. So that was fantastic, and then I jumped into warming up on the drums and then doing some takes for the first verse. And I think I worked on that a little longer than I ought to have because I just got really fatigued and started feeling kind of crappy and like that was a good lesson for me to just like do enough for one day and then, you know, let it be, save plenty of energy for the later session and just leave a little bit in the tank for tomorrow, you know. 
So I'm going to take a break and have some food and then dive back in and update you guys with what I accomplished in the second half of the day. Alright, overall positive second half of the day, I uh, just finished yesterday's video and then dove into the production front and just started mapping out horns as much as I could for like maybe hour, hour and a half straight. And I was just feeling pretty burnt by the end, but I got all the notes down. Uh, the rhythm is a little off at the end, so I'm just going to save that for tomorrow and come back with some fresh ears and kind of dial things in because I realized like some of the backing parts were totally off earlier today and I hadn't noticed that before so I thought that might have been messing with me so just wanted to get everything squared away as much as possible but overall checked all the boxes I wanted to today uh, I didn't start working on the guitar solo but that's okay the horn parts just took a lot longer to transcribe than I thought and it's it's a section that's maybe like eight or sixteen bars of horn parts that don't repeat so it's just like a sort of big long melody solo type thing and uh, yeah, so <laughs> just took a while to get it all down, but um, feeling a little burnt. I think I just hit it really hard today and like pushed it maybe a little too far, like I said earlier. So I'll take that lesson into tomorrow and just make sure that I, you know, don't just burn myself out. There's no point in doing that. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, like <laughs> the point of doing this is to enjoy life more and like some temporary suffering or difficulty or something like that is really not that big of a deal but like if I feel like that every single day and that's just my life like my entire life is just that then that it makes no sense to me like what is the point of, of doing that you know um, so anyway I appreciate you guys for tuning in hope you guys are out there grinding towards your goals enjoying the process that's what I'm out here doing and I'll see you guys tomorrow for more can't wait